Hi, I'm Annie from Design Squad Global, and I'm here with my sister Lucy, and Harry, and Bianca. And today we're going to make things out of recycled plastic. Plastic is one of the most widely used materials in the world. It's strong, sturdy, and lightweight. Plastic can be made into all different shapes and sizes, from thin plastic bags to thick plastic windows. But millions of tons of plastic are thrown away every year, and only a small percentage of that plastic is recycled. Since only a small amount can be recycled, it's good to think about repurposing it to make new things. Design Squad Global already repurposed old plastic to make chicken feeders. Today we are going to make something different but totally new out of plastic. Bam! What kind of problem can we solve with the plastic that we have? I think a problem that, that we have is that people overwater and underwater their plants. We should build something that helps people regulate their water in. I think that's a good idea, but we don't have a way to connect the material so the water won't leak. I think we should try something else. Using the plastic that we have, we could maybe build something to help paint brushes dry because I know that when we use our paint brushes, they always end up drying like this. Maybe we could make something where like it's holding the paint brush up with a little gap so that it's holding the paint brush and then there's something below that's catching the water so then it doesn't get everywhere. So what I was thinking was we use like one of the big bins like the animal cracker bins. Then we have like the bottom of the flower pot and then cut little holes in it so then we can put the paint brushes through. We should probably also just cut the top off of it. Yeah, yeah. So that we can easily get the paint brushes in and out. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. You know when you're a little kid and you can't reach anything? So I think we should make some sort of maybe something so that they can reach higher places, like a stool maybe, so that they can reach wherever they need to go. So we have to figure out a way to make it strong. Yeah, that's a good idea. I think that we should do water bottles on the bottom. We're going to have them in a circle and then we're going to tape them together. And then over this to secure it, make it tight, we have a bucket on top, which is taped securely around the bottles. We should test to see if these are really strong. Maybe we should put this on top, because that's how it's going to be. When you squeeze it a little, a lot of air comes out. We're probably going to have to tape the cap so that air doesn't escape. That's, that's a good idea. not stable, we have to figure this out. So we should uh, cut open the bottom of this because if we have it like this, the water can collect and then you can just go over this thing and then open it and it'll just kind of fall out. Instead of just making holes, because if we just make a hole then it's just gonna go straight through and it, there won't be anything to keep it in place. But if we use this, we can just poke it through and then we'll kind of hold it like a straw, so it'd be just straight up like this. Somehow we gotta make this stronger, cause the water bottles are weaker than I thought. What if we put tape around the thing and that will help it from collapsing? Hmm, that will help. We're gonna wrap all the way down. There we go. Now it's much more strong. And as you can see, it's really nice and wide so that when this is placed and taped down by Lucy, the paintbrush can go through the straw hole so that when it's placed down, it'll stay in place and it'll drip down into the animal cracker container. This is our safe stool. It's made of eight water bottles and the flower pot liner. If we were to do this again, we would use less duct tape because duct tape is very expensive. And we would have started with a wider base because it's hard to balance on it. Okay, so this is our brush dryer. What you do is you stake the brush through there. 
if we were to make this a little better, we'd probably add more holes to put more brushes, and we'd also probably make the sizes different because there are a lot of different sizes of brushes. See how you can repurpose recycled plastic.